Hi folks, so thanks for watching this video to start with. Um, I rarely, if ever, do videos like this where I break down other trainers' videos. Um, well, I rarely, rarely do it publicly. I'll do it at seminars or for my, the members of our monthly course because it's a more private group. Um, there's a number of reasons for it, and these are uh, what, when you're watching this, I'd like you to, to be aware of it. Okay, so the trainer, people who agree with me, start calling out for the same level of violence or more um, against the, that has been shown against the dog to be leveled against the trainer, all right? So usually, very often you'll get, I'd like to see, um, put a slip lead on him and see if he likes it, that kind of thing, right? So that's not helpful. While I understand um, your, uh, the emotion behind it, uh, please don't comment like that on it, okay? So I'm gonna be really strict with the um, moderation of the comments on this, uh, uh, on this post and any that I don't like at all I'm going to delete okay so generally as I said the trainers who sorry people who agree with uh, my ethical standpoint on the training of dogs start calling out for the blood of the person that's doling out the aggression or the violence towards the dog um, and uh, and then what also happens and this happens across social media is we start getting public shaming going on okay um, and that's really, really, really dangerous, okay? So shaming people um, on social media is is a, a truly horrible thing to do, so please don't do it. Um, I've cropped the video deliberately so that we're not seeing the trainer who, who it is, okay? Uh, and I'm doing it deliberately, all right? And it's so that he doesn't get uh, a hard time from anybody else on the back of the work that I'm doing. So this is this is for education. It's not for any other reason. Okay, I'm not. I don't know this person. Uh, I try and have um, empathy and understanding and some sort of consideration for his space in the world, um, despite the fact that I do not agree with what he he is doing uh, with this dog. Okay. Um, the other thing that happens is then people start piling on me for sharing videos like this, okay? I'm just going to, you know my stance on that if you watch my content, eh, I'm going to delete them anyway. I'll delete those comments. So um, if you're drawn to um, co uh, comment on one of those two, either calling out for this man's blood, um, any derogatory ter uh, comments towards him personally, okay? Um, then please don't do it okay please do not do it um and if you're if you're so compelled to give me a hard time you're just wasting your time because i'll just delete your comment anyway okay so I'm, i've been doing this long enough the other thing that i've done as well is i've cropped the video as best as i can so that we can't identify the person all right and that's in order to protect that person okay um so please respect what i'm asking you to do in this um it's for your conscious whether you, conscience for whether you do it or not, but I'm asking you to um, please conduct yourself decently, civilly and kindly as best as you can, given the information. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to let the video run. It runs for two minutes, uh, 2.20, and as I said, I'm cropping out the um, his uh, face um, so that he, d he doesn't get any personal flack from it, people going onto his page and, and whatnot, and shouting them down and calling them for everything because um, that's not helpful and it's not the purpose of this video either it's to um it's to educate as to why we shouldn't use these techniques so it's young german shepherd it looks as if it's, it's a girl i can't be sure i'll maybe see from the angle later on uh, but she's got reactivity towards other dogs um, and it looks fairly mild from what we're seeing okay uh, i work with dogs like this uh, day in day out so i had three last week and i've got three or four this week um, of dogs um, similar type, uh, age, and uh, problem. So I'll let the video run first, and then I'll do some breakdown on it. Sit 
Okay, so that's the video, all right. Um, you can go back and watch it again, and what I'd like you to do if you're gonna watch it again is count how many tongue flicks the dog does, all right? So every time uh, the dog licks her lips, uh, what she's trying to do is calm herself down, okay? So they are um, stress signals in this instance, okay? Um, so there's a number of things which I think are, are an issue with this. Um, when you're watching it, um, there's a, a dog over to the, the outside of you, which you don't see um, through the, the whole video. Um, and count, first thing is count how many times the dog is told to sit, okay? Um, now if you're, so, and I counted, it's certainly over 10 and it's probably nearer 15, okay? Um, so we, we got mum and dad, okay? So we, get, we heard a male and female voice telling the dog to sit repeatedly, okay? Now, that's a, a big, uh, indicator that the dog is stressed all right so i um so i don't understand what you're asking me to do or i can't do it under these conditions okay and um, because there's a big dog shouting at me okay so that's the first thing or sorry one of the things to, to look at here okay next thing to look at is that the um the trainer takes the dog away from mum okay so we've got the dog on a slip lead okay we've got a slip lead here all right um, and the slip lead is tightened right around the dog's jawline, okay, so it's that really sensitive part of the dog's neck, okay, and the reason why the, the lead is as tight up here is so that it hurts maximally, okay, so um, we've got all these pressure points uh, underneath your neck, um, if you don't know, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and have been doing it for um, now for 13 years and I did um, other grappling uh, before that which is based, choke based martial arts all right where the object is to try and choke your opponent out uh, and we've got all these pressure points and nerve endings uh, nerve bundles round our neck okay plus our larynx okay and then the two big arteries on either side of the neck and the dog is the same okay so that's why the slip lead is this tight uh, round here is, is so it's maximally effective okay it causes the most amount of pain uh, and discomfort with the least amount of correction, okay, at least amount of tension in the lead, all right. Um, what the guy's also done is he's taken the dog away from mum, okay, so I don't think this is a good model uh, because I think it's about relationship building between the dog and his uh, and her owner um, and also uh, mum is not learning the skills here, um, the, the trainer is doing it, okay, so that's a, a few things there about that breakdown. So he sends mum away initially, asks her to take a few steps back, and this is possibly, okay, and again, possibly putting the dog in a state of conflict. Um, I want to be with mum, and I don't want to be next to that dog, okay, and I, and probably given this training, I don't want to be next to this guy either, um, because the way that he keeps treating me. So she takes a few steps back, and then she's immediately corrected, okay. So we could count the number of times um, that the dog is jerked back on the slip leads, but it's not really, well, isn't necessary. You know the point I'm making, okay? Uh, we could count them if we wanted to, but for the purpose of brevity, I'm not going to. It's good. Right, now this here, okay, I'm gonna put that back. Yeah. 
So dogs get, get, gets corrected and then she, she pulls back, she's trying to get away from these corrections. So that's it there, okay. Yeah. And as she pulls back, she gets the, the lead gets tightened up, tightened up more. So she pulls away, the lead gets tightened more because he doesn't move. Uh, Andy pulls her back in to the place that she's trying to leave. Now, the likelihood is that she's trying to leave here to get away from the corrections, the, the, the strangulation, the tightness again around her neck. And she's possibly also trying to get away from the other dog that she doesn't want to approach. Possibly, okay. But she's definitely trying to get away from the corrections. And then he pulls tighter on the lead and brings her back in. And this is, uh, the next part is really interesting, which is a direct result of what we've just seen. Okay, so that one there, that, uh, uh, that's, that's just for looking at the dog, okay? So that's what um, people would call a preemptive correction, the don't, don't even think about it correction, okay? Which, depending on how you've been raised by your parents, you've known what that, hey, don't even think about doing that, all right? Um, so the, the look at the other dog is the um, precursor to the barking, so the look gets uh, uh, corrected as well. And when I say corrected, I mean application of pain, discomfort, or annoyance. And in this instance, I would say that it's pain and discomfort, okay? Uh, and we've got a nice tongue flick there. Okay, let's just see her tongue out there. Um, so she gets corrected for even looking at the other dog. And if the purpose of this type of work, which it is for me and the clients that I work with, is to get a dog more sociable with the other dog, we want to build the dog's social skills, which means allow the dog to look at the other dog at a safe distance and process that. So that's a, another correction for looking. This is where all the sits come in. Sit, sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. Now there's lots of, you see her, her there, the, the dog there, looking at mum, okay. So looks at mum, wags her tail and that's, that's a, can you come in and get me, can you help me out here, okay, um, and why are you away from me, I want to be next to you, I don't want to be next to this person. So we get more bucking on the lead, that's a perfect shot of that, okay. And again, just being careful with the cropping, okay, so that that's, that's, desperately trying to get away from the, from the tightness of the lead. That's what that behaviour is. And then this here, you'll see it here, I'm going to let it run in and I'm going to rewind it, okay? So she pulls away from the lead. Okay, now those behaviours there, and I know this because we did this yesterday when we were training, Okay, so you see her here and it's like a big yawn and she, you can hear her, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but there's very slightly a kind of gagging noise. So we were training yesterday morning at the, um, at the academy and um, one of the chokes went straight across my windpipe, okay, and it causes that noise there, okay. Really unpleasant and really painful, okay. And this is the same reaction you've just seen from this dog. So she's actually trying to catch her breath and get rid of that uh, um, discomfort and pain that she's just felt there, okay? And it's, a, it's actually super clear here. Uh, it couldn't be any clearer. So she pulls away, and that's it there. That's her gagging, okay? Trying to get her breath back. Okay, try, either trying to get her breath back or trying to get rid of that. Um, and you can, I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice. When I demonstrated it there, I pushed against my, um, my Adam's apple. So you can try that, push against your throat, push really hard until you feel pain and then see how long it takes you to recover from that, okay? And this is what's happened to the dog all the time, okay? Um, so we've got, that's what's going on there. Now, the, the next thing that what happens is, and this is where uh, people like this think that this is a balanced approach to training. Um, this guy thinks that the petting that he's doing um, and telling a dog that she's doing well is having some sort of effect on motivation, as if the dog is trying, des trying to get him to pet her, 
okay? So if you're working with your dog and your dog comes back to you, and when your dog comes back to you, they've learned that you play a game of tug, the tug is what is motivating the dog coming back to you, okay? The dog runs back and goes, hey, I'm gonna get a fun game with mum or dad. So that's the motivation for doing that behavior to access that reinforcer, okay? With everything with this dog, the motivation here is to escape and avoid the tightness of the slip lead. So the petting is actually to is is doing nothing behaviorally, nothing of substance. Okay, um, it's like smacking your children um, and then giving them a cuddle afterwards to show them how much you love them. Okay, if you loved them that much in the first place, you wouldn't assault them. So more tongue flicks there. She gets marched off. So more verbal corrections, more acts and pulling in the lead. Another few corrections there. Some more uh, protest backlash. And he decides he's going to... Um, and again, the protest there. Okay, I'll put that back. So you see when she drops anchor here. That's it there. So she drops anchor there. Now that might be, I want to get away from that man and I want to get back to mum, or both, okay? Um, but I'm certainly thinking it's, I want, I want you to stop correcting me, I want you to stop choking me. Now that's him starting to readjust the um, slip lead, okay? So what's happened is that it's fallen further down to the muscles of our neck, those thick muscles. Uh, towards our, the bottom of her neck and he's readjusting it so that it sits on that really sensitive part just underneath the jaw, okay? So that's what he's doing here. And again, that's to maximize the amount of pain he's able to inflict on this dog. So more corrections. More tongue flicks. And she's starting to learn if I sit down here, you'll stop correcting me and again, He's petting, him, petting the dog here, to, probably to make himself feel better. Dog tries to get away from either him or approach towards the other dog. Okay, and I would say there, is the petting meaningful? Okay, is it meaningful to the dog? And for me, no, the answer is absolutely not. Okay, so that's the end of the video there. All right, um, now I'm trying to keep this as short as we possibly can. Um, the because I've cropped out his, his face here um, through the whole video, all right, th there's nothing um, from his facial expression which is about um, affection or kindness, okay? There's nothing soft about his facial expression during this, okay? Um, yep, he will be concentrating, um, but there's no softness, there's no smile, there's no re relaxation of his body or his shoulders, okay? And the dog will pick up on all, on all of that. So even if the dog didn't pick up on it, um, it's indicative of this person's attitude towards the dog and towards behavior, okay? And again, as I said in the preamble at the start, um, I have some sympathy for this man, okay? Um, because I, I, what I look like, I, I look at this person and say, what happened to you in your life <laughs> that you learned that this is how you treat others, okay? So I, I do have some sympathy uh, for him. Um, the other thing is I used to be that man, okay? That's who I was. Um, for a variety of reasons, okay? 20 years ago, I was this guy and this is how I treated dogs and worse, okay? So um, the reason why I've put this video up is, is, again, to educate people, please do not use trainers like this, okay? Encourage others not to use trainers like this. It's completely unnecessary. Um, there's a, 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 a wealth of, of, uh, of videos on this page uh, which show us me working with dogs uh, with these same type of problems. And the difference is that you won't see the dogs that I work with kicking off at other dogs. So they don't lunge and bark at other dogs. And the reason for that is because if the dog is lunging and barking at the other dog, we're doing something wrong, okay? If we've put the dog in a position that that is how he or she reacts to the other dog or the person, which we don't want. 
So our work is done before the behaviour happens, the, the, ad, the behaviour that we don't want, okay, the bad behaviour um, happens, and we build skills which the dog can then take forward. Uh, and from looking at this dog, um, w with the right approach, she, she'd be able to uh, uh, approach the right dog and start being settled very, very, very quickly if, the, the, um, if things were done properly, all right? So um, again, uh, and I'm gonna stress this, um, please don't try and find out who this guy is and start bashing him, okay? Um, and again, if, you're, if you are um, drawn or compelled to make negative comments about me doing this video, I've tried to be as respectful and kind as I possibly can while educating um, others uh, as to why we shouldn't use these techniques, okay? So much love and peace to you and I'll catch you soon.